Hey y'all. So NikiCon is over. Sad face. Um, like I said on Tumblr, if you follow me on Tumblr, I kind of got too busy to do one after Saturday and after yesterday. So this is gonna be my Saturday, Sunday and wrap up video. Um so start with Saturday, like I said, we had gone back to Dallas on Friday. So Saturday we left Dallas about noon ish. Um, managed to go back to the convention about two right before two where we ended up making it just in time for a Pokemon panel on two at two. Basically, um, those of us who still play Pokemon and enjoy Pokemon just talked about how uh, it's affected us over the years. We still play it, watch it, whatever. That was kind of cool just hearing people's different stories, especially because there was a mom that came with her 11 year old son. Um, so that was kind of cool just to have someone a little bit older than the typical generation um, being interested in it. So that was fun. Um, right after that, we went to the um, world record, the largest group of people wearing false mustaches. Um, we ended up beating the record with over 3,000 people. I think the unofficial count was like 3,225 or something. That was the unofficial count. So that was pretty exciting. And I can officially say I'm part of a world record. Um, and then right after that, we went into Star Kid. And oh my gosh, I've never seen Star Kid live, but I was having way too much fun. Um, they did all of the songs from the beginning of Harry Potter musical all the way through Harry Potter senior year. Um, we didn't get to stay for the whole thing just because we ended up sneaking out early to go to dinner with one of my friends. But we saw all of um, the original part of the sequel before we headed out. Um, so that was that was fun because the first one's definitely my favorite. Um, so after that, like I said, we went to dinner with my friend and went to Spaghetti Factory. Um, while we were there, there was a guy making balloon stuff. And so he made me, I can try and show you, a broomstick. Part of the balloon's popped, but it's actually a pretty impressive broomstick. And it's huge. Like, this is like four feet long. No joke. It's really long. Um, so that was cool. And then he made um, Jenna a dragon because she wanted a dragon. Um, so that was pretty cool. After we did that, we headed back to the convention center, changed into our dresses for the ball, um, found some of our friends from the ball, and we just danced for hours. Um, we didn't stay the whole time. We left about 10.30 just because my back was hurting. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We did quite a few conga lines. Um, it wasn't as much wizard rock as I expected. Um, a lot more modern songs, but it was still fun. We had a bunch of dance circles going on. and um, So we got back about midnight, I think, on Saturday. And then, and I'll just show you what all the stuff I got at the end, um, rather than day by day. So Sunday, um, got up bright and early. The only signing for the day was Starcade, which I really wanted to get in Starcade. Like, I was like, I'm going to cry if I don't get into Starcade signing. So, got in line. It was the only signing. So, I was already decently long, but not terribly. I got in. I got. I drew a red ticket right away. Jenna did not. Um, waited for her to go back through. And she was almost back to the front when they ran into wristband. So, she didn't get into the signing. But she didn't care as much as I did. So, she was okay. Um, but I got in. I was super excited. So, didn't have anything to do until the exhibit hall opened at 10, so I just hung out for a while. I started rewatching the beginning of Very Potter Musical. Um, got into, into the exhibit hall for an hour. Um, bought a few things, um, which I'll show you at the end. Um, the signing for um, Star Kid, sorry, was at 11, so about 10.30, 10.40 I got in line for that. Um, and I was so excited, I was trying not to cry. Um, I did make it through the whole line, and I will show you. And I've only labeled some of their signatures. Um, so I just had them sign my name tag. Let me pull it out so I can tell you who all signed. Okay, so first it was Joey Richter right there. Um, one of the Brian, I can't remember which one. I think it's Brian Rosenthal signed right there. I think I haven't figured out which one. And I'm blanking. Some of these I can't tell who the signatures are, so I'm trying to figure them out. Oh, this was Joe Walker. Um, that was Clark. Oh, I think that was Tyler. This one's Tyler. And then I switched to the back. I don't remember who he was. He was first, so I had a really thick one. So he was apologizing for that. Um, I can't tell. I don't remember Julia. That's the other Brian. Um, Dylan Saunders. Lauren Lopez. I shook her hand, guys. I just about cried. She's my favorite, so I was really excited that she shook my hand. I was so excited. Um, Meredith, I just haven't labeled her. And then Brittany Coleman. Um, so was that. And they were all really nice. Like, um, a couple of them were like, how has your con been? What was your favorite part? What have you done? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so they were super nice. Like, if you guys ever have a chance to go to a Star Kid signing, go. Because they're awesome. 
obviously, Darren Chris wasn't there, but I don't really consider him a part of StarKid anymore, to be honest, because he's kind of on Glee now. But anyway, so I went through the StarKid signing. Um, after that, I went, we hung out until one, headed up to do the video games with the Anthony Rapp thing, where he basically played Portal 2 after getting the Wi-Fi to work, and it wasn't that exciting. That's not really what we thought he was going to do. We thought he was actually going to discuss more about video games. So we actually skipped out early, headed in line for the closing ceremony, which ended up being a live airing of the last Pottercast. Um, for those who don't know what Pottercast is, it's a podcast basically about Harry Potter. It was one of the first ones, I believe. Anyway, they aired their 250th one. They recorded last night. It was the last Pottercast. Uh, it was the closing ceremonies and stuff, which wasn't as cool as the opening ceremonies, but it was still pretty fun. Um, so yeah, so that's basically all he did. So now I'm going to go over what else I bought this weekend. So first off, uh, this is purple. You can't tell in the lighting, but this is my shirt. It says Keep Calm to Leaky Con. Um, I love the Keep Calm stuff, so I bought this. Um, my friend Jenna bought me, if I can get it to hang properly. One second. There we go. Hufflepuff student ID card. Like I said, I'm a Ravenpuff, so this is my Hufflepuff student ID card. I did get a few more ribbons. I got one from the wand shop. Uh, so I'm going to hang out Les Mis ones. Um, and I got that one as well. There was a mustache one, but he ran out, and I really wanted it. I was really excited to not get that one. Um, and I got some more buttons. Um, so let's see, which ones did I not show you? Oh, I got the, the Conquest one, which it was, you had to find that one guy and pin it on him, and I don't remember what his name was. I didn't find him, obviously, but I have the button. Um, I got the Lakey Con Compass one, a Nanorimo, 5K finisher, and Turn Around Bright Eyes button. Got all those for buttons. Um, where's my... I got a thing. One of the booths was doing minimal um, portraits of different characters, and I did um, a couple. I got one. I got Daenerys from Game of Thrones for my boyfriend, David. And then I got um, Felicia Day as Penny from Dr. Horrible, which I still have to watch. But I only got it because it's Felicia Day and everyone says they look like her. So I kind of like her anyway. So I got that. Um, there was an Impress Nails booth and they were giving us free nail things. I got actually got blue and Jenna got pink, but we traded because she doesn't like pink. So I got that for free, which is kind of cool. Um, and I won't bother showing you my other gift cards, the uh, business cards, because I got a lot. Um, but I got a world record attempt sticker, which I'll probably put on my car, um, for the mustache thing. This is the other one I got. The book was better, because I tell people this all the time. I mean, for real. If you're going to watch a movie that's a book adaptation, you have to read the book first. Because the book is always better. Yeah. I'm telling you. Anyway, so, uh, what else did I get? I only got a couple more things. I'm just trying to find them in my bag. Sorry, guys. Um... I know I got a Hogwarts shield. A Huff oh, here's my Felicia Day thing. Here's my Felicia Day. There we go. I got a Hufflepuff shield sticker final thing for my car. That's in here somewhere. I just can't really find it because it's kind of tiny. Um, yeah, I can't find it. So, sorry about that, guys. But it's just a little, not that big, Hufflepuff shield for my car. Um... I think that's all I got this weekend. I was going to get a wand, my own wand, because I'm, I'm cherry with a unicorn hair, 13 and a quarter inches. Yeah, bought her more. And it was accurate, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, I the one, only one I found there at the wand shop, I didn't like it. It was green and it was kind of weird, and so I decided not to get it. Um, so I didn't get a wand, which is okay. I have my little wand still. But um, that's pretty much all I did the last couple of days. Um, I, the next year's LakeyCon is in Orlando, which is kind of across the whole country for me, literally, the other corner of the country. Um, so I don't know if I'll go, um, I don't know if I could afford the travel expenses, plus the hotel and all that stuff. So, we'll see. I'd like to go, but it kind of depends on where I am next summer, um, life-wise. But, oh my gosh, it's July 1st, guys. Happy July. Anyway, that's random. Um, yeah, so that's... If you guys get a chance to go to a LeakyCon, go. I would love to go to the London one well. I know, I know there's a lot of volunteers that are going to both, which I'm jealous because Ivana Lynch is going to London. Sad face. I love Ivana Lynch. She's my favorite. But I cannot afford to go to London. No, no, definitely not. So, 
if you guys can get to LinkyCon, go. Even if you're not a huge Harry Potter fan, LinkyCon is known for mixing fandoms. I mean, there was Doctor Who stuff, Supernatural, Sherlock. I mean, that was the premise of LinkyCon, is mixing the fandoms, sharing their love of the stories, blah, blah, blah. So, I definitely advise going. Um, this was my first convention, and it was so much fun. Um, I would love to go to Emerald City Comic Con. I keep saying I want to go. Apparently, Portland is going to have a Rose City Comic Con this year in September, which I didn't know Portland had a Comic Con. I think it's new. It's only two days, so I think it's new. But I'm going to be in California, so it sucks. But hopefully it'll be bigger once people get the word out that Portland's having a Comic Con. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was my weekend. If you guys wanted some pictures of stuff I got, um, let me know. I am putting them on my Facebook, but if you guys are watching this on YouTube or on Tumblr, let me know if you want to see pictures. I can post them to my Tumblr. Um, yeah, that was my weekend. If you guys have any more questions, too, um, shoot me an email or a Tumblr message. My email I will put in the description. So, yeah, have a great rest of your life and year, guys, and go to LeakyCon. Yeah. Okay, bye.